For Hamlet and the trifling of his favor Holding a fashion and a toy Hey, I'm Rudolf Walz and I'm going to lead you through the city of Wittenberg. Wittenberg is a city in Germany about 70 miles south of Berlin. Well, that city did make history. It was about 500 years ago. Well, it was then when Martin Luther did post his famous paper at the front door of this cathedral. And that initiated the process of religious reformation. Well, it was not only because of Martin Luther. That city had a very famous university by that time. And one of their most famous students was the young Prince Hamlet. Well, I'm walking over here next to a river called Elbe. Well, I guess Hamlet and his friend Horatio might have walked over here as well. And by walking over here, they might have discovered that there are much more things between heaven and earth than they can dream of in their philosophy. Since I can remember, I was always interested in philosophy and science. Well, when I was a teenager, I was also quite interested in art, particularly rock music. Well, that made it natural to create a rock opera out of Shakespeare's Hamlet. Well, this is one of the most popular theater plays in all over history, which contains a lot of philosophy. So it was quite a challenge to do that. Well, when we did that, we were quite surprised that there were only few attempts to put that material into music. So that made the challenge even more exciting. Hamlet is Shakespeare's longest play, containing about 4,000 lines. Well, basically you can convert any theater play into a rock opera, but you have to reduce yourself to about 600 lines or about 25 songs. Well, the music extends the stuff quite a bit, and by repeating one or several lines several times, what gives you a chorus is also a chance that stays much more in the conscience of the audience. Well, so it's quite natural to choose for the chorus or for the refrain the most famous quotes. To be or not to be, that is the question. Something is rotten in the state. Frailty, thy name is woman. The rest is silence, or not. Though this be madness, yet there is method in it. The time is out of joint. The readiness is all. What we see over there is a modern statue of Martin Luther. Well, not only at Luther's time is that death, war has been present at all times. Well, if you look at Shakespeare's plays, there is plenty of it in there. Just look at young Hamlet. He is responsible for the death of at least five people. So, but how does it come that we still admire these characters, although they are responsible for the death of plenty others? It's 500 years ago that Martin Luther did stand over here to post his paper and concept at this store. In rock music, there are concept albums since 1968 when The Who published their album Tommy. My rock opera Hamlet is the first concept album based on a play by Shakespeare. Do 
you think I'm easier to be played than a pipe? Hamlet says this to Rosencrantz. This scene is also contained in my rock opera. Now we are in the center of Wittenberg. This is a restaurant, a place where they brew their own beer. Well, on the back you can see a very historical house. At the time when Hamlet was a student over here, the whole city did look like that. So he might have lived over there with his friend Horatio and with some other students discussing over there, doing this and that, and in the evening come down here and drink that special kind of beer. This could be a portrait of Hamlet's father. We are on the campus of the University of Wittenberg. Well, in this historical buildings, very famous people did teach. Well, not only Luther, Melanchthon, but another famous person called Giordano Bruno. All three people have been rebels. So, we can ask the question if students like Hamlet, who did study over here, became rebels as well, particularly Hamlet when he returned to Denmark. For the rock opera, only original lyrics by Shakespeare have been used. Well, there was a special selection of about 12% of all lyrics. Well, some of the lines have been repeated as a chorus or a refrain. Well, the basic idea is to bring very old stuff like lyrics and philosophy in modern music in such a way that the basic philosophical sense is maintained. In this house, Johann Faust did live for seven years. This historical person did work in astrology and science. He had a big influence on poets like Christopher Marlowe, who created a theater play out of it. Christopher Marlowe was a contemporary writer to William Shakespeare. On the other side, Christopher Marlowe did influence other poets like Johann Wolfgang von Goethe to create another literal work out of it. And out of that literal work, I did create two rock operas, Faust Part 1 and Faust Part 2. This house is named after Hamlet. It used to be a dorm so that students like Hamlet could live over there. We have no idea what type of music Hamlet did like to listen to. When I was 12, I did like to listen to Creedence Clearwater Revival. Later on, it switched to Deep Purple, Pink Floyd, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. For the last few years, the Brock part of Trim Theater had quite a big influence on me. Concerning the statue or the scenery, Hamlet is usually presented in a Middle Eastern style. Performing the rock opera, we could do the same thing as well. However, I do prefer a combination out of lyrics by Shakespeare, rock music, and a scenery in science fiction style. A famous play like Hamlet has had more than a thousand interpretations. So what's the purpose of my rock opera? Well, there are lots of young people who don't like to read, but they like to listen to music. So there are, will be much more people getting interested in that kind of topic. Cheers. Thank you for joining me at Wittenberg. Now we will have this beer while you can enjoy the show Hamlet in Rock. There is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. Be 